She's rich, famous, powerful, beautiful, and oh, so mysterious. Men want her, women want to be like her. She's an enigma, a fiercely private woman who positively glows when she's mobbed in public. Fans see her as the perfect embodiment of health, mental and physical, a goddess who's somehow tapped into the elusive fountain of youth. We've all wondered, so I decided to try and find out the secrets of Raquel Welsh. First clue was the treasure chest of knowledge she poured into her best-selling beauty books and two exercise videos. Clearly from the crowds, I'm not the only one anxious to learn her secret, but Raquel fast put me straight about any mystical wisdom or magical elixirs. I don't think there is any real secret to eternal youth, and I think that if you go into an exercise program thinking that it's going to make you look young forever or anything like that, then you're kind of... How can I say? I think you're kind of cheating yourself. What you will do is you will look the best that you are for that moment in your time, but you may never see the bright side of 19 again, and you better be ready for that, you know? That realization at a time in Raquel's life when she felt herself slowing down put her on the trail of an important discovery. That led to the development of a realistic system of exercise anyone can use. I went behind the scenes in search of yet another clue to her secrets. A week with Raquel is for busy people who cannot spend 90 minutes a day working out. Her 15-minute routine proved so effective, video sales rocketed into the nation's top five. But Raquel, why the shortcut? I've always flunked out of doing really uh, strenuous gym-type weight exercises or any kind of aerobics jogging, things that I would love to do. I've been able to dance for quite a number of years in my career, but there came a point in my mid-30s where I just couldn't hack it anymore. And I found uh, that yoga gave me the things that I needed. With yoga, the mystical and practical fuse to form the basic elements of her new system. Good. Raquel and her director husband made the video in New York, their new home. I asked why the California girl moved east. I love the West Coast. I spent all my life since I was two years old in California until very recently, until the last... It's coming up to about five years now I've been in New York City. I love New York. It's a hectic, hectic pace. The people are the best. I really think that New Yorkers are the best in the world. I mean, they have more guts and more sense of humor and more sort of feeling about being part of the human race than any other city I've ever come across. Fitness through yoga is only part of Raquel's health and beauty secret. She also believes in lots of R&R. &R. And when you're rich as well as gorgeous, that means jetting off to your own Caribbean island. Musty is as idyllic as it is exclusive. The hideaway island of Mick Jagger and British royalty. It's an oasis. It's um, a retreat, yes, from the front lines. Uh, it, it's very much a refuge for Andre and myself, and we're building a home there. You go down there really to do absolutely nothing. No high-rise hotels. Um, no intruders, no paparazzi. Um, no real disco is no place to have to get dressed up for, quite frankly. You know, if you just don't want to put on your makeup and want to drag around in a pair of old cutoffs or something, that's perfectly fine and accepted. And I think that that's why we do it. But if you want to dress up, it's impossible to overdo it on Mustique, especially when Raquel helped good neighbor Lord Glen Connor welcome Britain's Princess Margaret to the island. There are some other high profile, we might say, people who hide out in Moustique that I won't sort of mention personally. The reason that Moustique and places like that are so good is because they do. Just when you think you never want to face it all again, revitalize you and make you think, well, I feel pretty good right now. I think I could, I think I might like to see some action. And I think that's, that's nice. When Raquel springs into action, she is tireless. Between public appearances, books, exercise and music videos, and her crystal light commercials, she is ever seeking new challenges. I asked why she chose to put her image of radiant health and dazzling glamour so firmly on the line in a thought-provoking television movie titled The Right to Die. It's a story of a very 
vital and independent young woman who is a college university professor and whose life is going along very well with her husband and her two children and suddenly she starts to fall down and then little by little become more and more paralyzed until pretty soon she can't do anything for herself she ends up on a respirator and the quality of her life is just totally taken away from her and she really wants the right to die she wants simply to die and not to be a vegetable it's a far far cry from the philosophy this actress has devoted her life to a healthy body means a healthy mind and if those two things can kind of be together that hopefully that will make a better person a better relationship a better family a better future for everybody uh, that's kind of idealistic but that's the way i think of it raquel welsh the winning workout